Hello, Cloud Gurus, and welcome to AWS This Week. Ryan is on vacation. He took his family to watch the Falcon Heavy launch to Mars. My name is Peter Zbarski, and I'm VP of Content at A Cloud Guru. These are the topics for this week. Amazon Connect is now ISO compliant. Amazon Aurora is now compatible with MySQL 5.7. There is a new AWS instance scheduler, a new and very cool Amazon Poly plugin for WordPress. AWS Systems Manager adds new features, and DynamoDB now supports server-side encryption at rest. A Cloud Guru is hiring, and we announce the winner of Guru of the Week. Amazon Connect is now ISO compliant. What does this mean? Well, you can now build contact centers using the Amazon Connect service in businesses that need to comply to the ISO standards. Amazon Connect has become compliant for ISO 9001, ISO 27001, ISO 27017, and ISO 27018. Amazon Aurora is now compatible with MySQL 5.7. MySQL 5.7 has a number of improvements over 5.6, including native support for JSON types, feed improvements, and security improvements. Coupled with Aurora, MySQL 5.7 boasts a 5x speed increase over just a regular MySQL 5.7, as well as a greater than 20x write performance and greater than 10x read performance for special data sets. So that's pretty special. There is a new AWS instance scheduler. It allows customers to easily configure custom start and stop schedules for Amazon EC2 and RDS instances. This is great for businesses who only need to be running specific instances during a specified time and can save you up to 70% of running costs. Well, for example, you may only need machines to run during business hours for customer tasks instead of running for a full day. Or you may need an RDS instance running for queries while your staff is in the office. The solution comes with a cloud formation template to build components necessary to control instances in all AWS regions of your account. For more information, please see the link at the bottom. There is a new Amazon Poly plugin for WordPress. This new plugin allows you to easily add voice to your web content and can be used in situations where you want to read some text or an article to your customer. This plugin also supports publishing podcasts directly from your website. You can choose the voice and the language you prefer, and it allows you to engage your customers in creative new ways. AWS Systems Manager adds custom configurable repositories, Linux application patching, and patch support for SUS Linux. AWS Systems Manager allows you to now specify the repositories for the patch baselines of your instances. You used to be only able to use repositories configured on the instance, but now you can specify the repos in the patch baseline, making your patching much more consistent over all of your instances. In addition to this, you can now also apply non-OS security patching, allowing you to patch your applications on Linux, as well as the OS patches. Finally, AWS Systems Manager has added support for SUS Linux Enterprise Server, and that is very cool. DynamoDB now supports server-side encryption at rest. This is something that I've been waiting for for some time. It helps you secure your application data using AWS managed keys stored in the AWS Key Management Service, or KMS. This feature allows businesses that have strict encryption compliances and regulatory requirements to use DynamoDB. It is currently available in Ireland, North Virginia, Ohio, and Oregon. But all new tables will support encryption at rest at no extra cost. And backups of encrypted DynamoDB tables will also be encrypted. 
a cloud guru is growing and we're looking for more staff and instructors if you're a digital video content editor or a technical editor or if you wish to become an instructor go check out our careers page at the bottom of the screen and finally i'd like to announce the winner of guru of the week this week's winner is sam hopko who provided the correct answer which was f to find out why visit the discussion forums below. Congratulations, Sam. An exclusive t-shirt, a card, and a sticker are being sent out to you in the post. And you are also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent 2018. Well, I'd like to wrap up this episode. Ryan will be back next week. And as always, stay awesome, Cloud Gurus.